What do you call a strange market? A bizarre bazaar. That joke might not seem terribly funny, but it is remarkable because it was written by a computer. It was written by a program called JAPE for Joke Analysis and Production Engine. And JAPE was created by a PhD student, Kim Binstead, at the University of Edinburgh in the mid-1990s. And Kim went on to become a professor of information and computer sciences at the University of Hawaii. JIP was created using a programming language called Prolog, and Prolog was created in large part at the University of Edinburgh. So how does it work? There are three parts to this. The first thing that the computer does is create a new word or phrase. And there are a number of ways of doing this, but one of them is called substitution. So it takes an existing word or phrase and it substitutes a similar word into that word or phrase. So if we take the example tranquilizer, the first part of tranquilizer, trank, could be substituted with the similar sounding word trunk to give tranquilizer. Or graveyard, graveyard could be substituted with the word yard that has a different meaning from the yard in graveyard. Or maybe take engineer, the ear in engineer could be replaced with ear as in e-a-r to give a new word or phrase, engineer. The second thing that the computer does is create a meaning for the new word or phrase. So for tranquilizer, the meaning might be to do with medicine and having a long nose. Graveyard might be to do with death and length of measurement. And then the third part of the program is to fit all of that together using some sort of template, some sort of question template. And the question might be, what do you get if you cross? Or what do you call a? Or why did the whatever cross the whatever? Now, all of this depends on a database of words. It's, it's called a lexicon. And the lexicon records the sound of the word so that the computer knows if, if two words rhyme, the meaning of the word, the syntax of the word, so how it would be used in a sentence, and the spelling of the word, so that similar looking words could be substituted for each other in the same way that similar sounding words could be substituted for each other. So here we have an entry from the lexicon for the word jumper. And we are told that a jumper is an item of clothing, keeps you warm, it's also known as a sweater. And the same word can also mean the act of leaping, which describes, for example, a kangaroo. So here we go. Here are some of Jape's best jokes. What do you get if you cross a monkey and a peach? An ape ricot. What do you call a fight between an apple and an orange? Fruit punch. How is mathematics like a headache? They are both some trouble. What kind of money has an opinion? A cent he meant. What do you call a hot sheep? A woolly sweater. What's the difference between a terrible pouch and a desolate rear? One's a bad sack and the other's a sad back. What's the difference between money and a bottom? One you spare and bank, the other you bear and spank. What's the difference between a sea and a seal? You can seal a sea, but you can't see a seal. Is that enough? Kim's supervisor at Edinburgh, Graham Ritchie, taught me or tried to teach me prologue. And I know for a fact that it is extremely challenging to teach a computer to tell jokes or to recognise jokes. Google are working on this problem right now and so far they have not published any results and in fact they have admitted that they are struggling. So there it is, computational humour, it's no laughing matter. And if you like these videos, subscribe down here somewhere. Bye.